let me consider one numerical on superposition theorem. Determine the current through emitter having internal resistance of 10 ohm in the network shown below using superposition theorem. Verify the answer using loop analysis. This is the given circuit and here we have the emitter which is having 10 ohm internal resistance. We supposed to calculate the current through this emitter using superposition theorem and the same current should be verified by using loop analysis method. So as we know in superposition theorem we supposed to consider one source at a time. So here we are having 4 volt voltage source and 2 volt voltage sources, sources. Both are independent sources. We supposed to consider one source at a time. So first I will consider 2 volt voltage source. Then I will find current through this 10 ohm register. Then I will consider 4 volt source alone. Then I will find the current through 10 ohm register. The sum of those two current is nothing but the total current flows through 10 ohm register. So first I will assume that the current through 10 ohm register is I. That current through 10 ohm register is I. Now let me calculate I using superposition theorem. So here in first step I will consider 2 volt source alone. So in that case I will short circuit this 4 volt voltage source. The equivalent circuit looks like this. I will assume current through this 10 ohm register considering only 2 volt is say I1. So now I will simplify this I1. I will find I1 using loop analysis method. Assume that current through this loop is X. Current through this loop is Y. Apply KVL to X loop. That is apply KVL to loop X. So I can write 2 is equal to voltage drop across 10 ohm register is 10. Total current flowing in that is X plus Y plus we have 25x 25x or I can write 2 is equal to 10x plus 25x is 35x plus 10y I will call it as equation 1 now apply KVL to this loop y loop so here there is no voltage source 0 is equal to start from any register here I will start from here voltage across 10 ohm register is 10 into x plus y plus voltage across this 100 ohm is 100 into y that is 100 y simplifying this I can write 10x plus 10y plus 100y 110y let me simplify so we can simplify these two expression directly using calculator keep calculator in equation mode and choose two unknown variables directly feed the values we'll get x and y so we'll get x is equal to 0, 0.0 5866 amp and y is equal to we have minus 5.33 into 10 power minus 3 amp so therefore i can write i1 is equal to i1 is equal to here we can see i1 is the current flows through 10 ohm register so x and y are in same direction so i1 is nothing but x plus y so we get we will get I1 is equal to 0 0.0533 amp. So this is part of the current. Now we will consider. So now we will consider 4 volt source alone. In that case it will be short circuited. Let me redraw the circuit. This is the equivalent circuit. So I will now I will assume current through this branch is I2. So I will calculate I2 using loop analysis. So here we have two loops. I will assume current through this loop is say X. Current through this loop is say Y. Now let me apply KVL to X loop. That is apply KVL to loop X. I can write 4 is equal to 100X plus voltage across 10 ohm register is x minus y because x and y are opposite to each other 10 x minus y that is 4 is equal to 110 x minus 10 y call it as equation 1 similarly apply kvl to loop y 
that is apply kvl to loop y i can write 10 there is no voltage source 0 is equal to voltage across this is 10 y minus x so now we have to write y minus x because now we are in y loop we have to assume y has higher magnitude plus we have 25 y 25 y or i can write 0 is equal to minus 10 x plus 10 y plus 25 is 35 y so let me simplify these two using calculator keeping calculator in equation mode so we have x is equal to 0 0.037 amp and we have y is equal to 0 0.0106 amp so therefore now i can write i2 is equal to so i2 is i2 and y are in same direction so i can write i2 is equal to y minus x that is y is 0 0.0106 minus 0 0.03733 so solving this we'll get i2 is equal to so i2 will be equal to minus 0 0.02673 amp so this is the current considering four volt source alone so therefore now i can find total current flows through 10 ohm is so here as i have shown total current flows is i i is equal to i1 plus i2 therefore we have i is equal to i1 plus i2 that is i is equal to so we have i value is i1 is 0 0.0533 0 0.0533 and i2 value is minus 0 0.2673 so solving this we'll get i is equal to 0 0.02657 amp so this is the reading of emitter now let me verify using loop analysis method so i will assume the same current that is current i is the current i which flows through 10 ohm resistor i will take the same current that i is the current flows through 10 ohm resistor so in loop analysis we have to consider the loop current let current through this loop is say x i have taken positive towards negative here positive towards negative and current through this loop is y apply kvl to loop x that is apply kvl to loop x i can write 4 is equal to voltage across this is 100x plus voltage across this is 10x minus y because x is opposite to y Simplifying this, I can write 4 is equal to 100x plus 10x is 110x minus 10y. Call it as equation 1. Similarly, apply KVL to this loop. It is apply KVL to loop y. So, I can write 2 is equal to we have 10 y minus x plus 25y or i can write 2 is equal to minus 10x plus 35y so solving equation 1 and 2 we get so solve equation 1 and 2 directly using calculator keeping calculator in comp equation mode so we have here x is equal to 0 0.042667 and we have y is equal to 0 0.069333 so therefore here we can say that i is equal to y minus x y minus x because y and i are in same direction y minus x that is i is equal to y value is 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स नाइन थ्री 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 माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर टू सिक्स सिक्स सेवन सो सॉल्विंग दिस विल गेट आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू सिक्स जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू सिक्स सिक्स जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू सिक्स सिक्स so here we can see that by verifying this current with this current that is 0.2657 both are almost same that is equal just we have verified the current through 10 ohm resistor thank you for watching